Hey guys, it's Ropsi back with Paperless Student. Today we'll be talking about the changes in the notes application on iOS 11. So normally I'll do a video to show you guys how I take notes in a certain application, but as you can see, I have not done that. That is because with all the changes that have happened in iOS 11 notes, I, I'm still not going to use this application as an application for taking notes. However, if you're one of those people that just need a pen and paper to write your notes and you're content with one color and very basic notes mostly information and you don't do anything fancy with your notes then this application will definitely work for you the first thing i noticed is that there's lesser colors for writing with i only have red green yellow blue and black those are the only colors that i have which is much less than we had in the previous no, I've already talked about this application in the video that I did for the top five free applications that you can use for taking notes. You should definitely check that video out because in this video I'm mainly focusing on the changes that they have made in notes, not about the whole notes application because I've already reviewed most of that for you guys in that video. So make sure you check out that video. And so we'll just go through the changes we have fewer number colors to use but we have an additional tool we have a selecting tool so let's just write something basic my pencil is skipping about a little bit i think that's because i'm using the ios 11 beta so it's something that they'll fix soon i'm sure so the selecting tool how does it work so you can cut copy delete or duplicate Pay, uh, whatever you've selected so I won't be doing any of that because yeah you can also move around the section that you choose but you can't enlarge it or make it smaller I tried doing that I'm also trying to do it now it's not working so that's something otherwise all the other tools remain the same you have your writing pen you have your highlighting Tool, just with fewer colors this time you have your pencil which still remains my favorite tool I think the pencil works better than the pen actually in this application and then you have your eraser the eraser now erases per stroke unlike in the previous version it erased only a section but now it's removing a whole stroke as you guys can see let me show you let me demonstrate it's removing a stroke so the eraser now just removes that stroke so that's the difference now let's leave that and then we have this plus button here so you can either scan a document which you have to take the photo yourself you can't actually use photos that are in your pictures which i find that quite limiting you can also add a photo, take a photo or a video. You can choose a photo from your library and now you can actually annotate your photos. Let's see. So for you to annotate on your photo, you have to tap on it and then you can annotate on it and your annotations will be on the actual photo. You can't actually annotate around the photo. So I'm trying at the moment to annotate on the right side of the photo. I can't do that. So you can only do annotations directly on the actual photo, which is something that I would love to have, an option I'd love to have. And then you can also add a sketch. So you just sketch and the sketch works basically the same way as, as photos. You can annotate on it, you can change little things on it, but you can't write around it. You have to write on top or below it. So let's click done there, see? And trying to write on it next to it, no I can't. So I can only write below it. One thing I really like about notes is that now I finally have a sense of how my pages are organized. Like for example, I edit this photo here and I can see that this might be two or three pages. I'm not really sure, but it's a continuous document that I can write on top of and I can write at the bottom here. Then we have our undo button here and basically at the bottom that's all we have in this application then on the far right corner at the top we have 
this little button here the little box with the pen this is the tool that you need to add a new note I'm not sure if it's something that I just recently figured out or it's always been like that but I'm finding it easier to understand it in this note so I'll tap again see it's added another note and then if I tap it again it's adding another note and then when I want to edit I just come back to this note and I can start editing it by tapping my pencil at the bottom and I can easily edit it so it's so much easier for me to understand how to add remove um, notebooks and notes in this new version it's so much easier for me to understand how this document is actually laid out so I really like that about this new application so I'm going to delete this another option that you have is you can lock your notes or you can put them in a folder so you can just create put them in a folder that's already there or create a new one for yourself which I'm not going to be doing in this tutorial and then for our exporting this tool is an exporting tool but there's so much to it which is quite surprising because I tried to export one of uh, samples the notes that I had and it just had so much more at the bottom here you guys can see so we'll go through each of, each of these okay so the first one is I'm not sure if this is going to be something that's going to um, keep on being a part of this notes application but I just feel like maybe it's because it's still in beta so I can submit what I've written to Apple so they can improve their application okay and then we have an option to lock our notes I'm not going to lock my notes but a big improvement thumbs up to Apple in my opinion is the fact that now you can add lines or grids in your notes as you guys can see I've already set my settings default to have a grid paper any notes that I'm going to be writing my default is a grid paper but I can always change it and then you can um, create a PDF I'll create a new note for you guys that I'll create a PDF for so let's create a PDF so once you create your PDF file you can then be able to annotate it you can make annotations to it you can use different tools to annotate it so with your PDF files you get more things that you can add to your PDF so you can add text and then you can edit that like but if you want to move things around and you want to change the size you need to use your fingers so I can turn this around I can move it around as much as I want just as long as I stick to using using my finger make sure your finger goes right on the blue little dots here otherwise it's still a little bit difficult to use those tools with your finger especially if you're using if you used to using your other pencil you can also change the different fonts you can have different fonts previously there were much more when I did this the first time when I was trying this out it had quite a few fonts to choose from so um, you can change the size of your font here you can change its alignment you can also use a magnifier so the magnifier has two buttons Okay, you can move it around by just tapping right in the middle and it will enlarge whatever you especially for your words it's more visible for that so you can make the circle bigger or smaller with the blue dot or you can make the text inside bigger or smaller with the green so the green will change the font size and then the blue will change the size of your magnifier of your magnifying glass magnifying glass okay so then you can move it around okay then you can add a signature i've already added mine there you go you can enlarge it make it smaller enlarge it turn it around there you go and then you can add shapes Okay, 
Okay, so you can make it big, you can make it small, and then you can choose what kind of shape you want to add. We have these different versions that you can have. You can see the frame is getting thicker, thinner, and so these are the different. And you can do this for any shape. So once this is done, let's add another shape. So for this shape, we also have the same options. Just tap on the um, shapes button again for you to change the different types of shapes you want. And that's it. It works. So as you guys can see, it covers up the um, the text and also covers up the PDF itself and the signature, but it doesn't cover up the annotations that you did in the PDF. So that's something to note if, if that should be interesting for any of you guys. Okay, let's leave that there. So these are all the annotations you can do for your PDF. You still have the basic tools and there's so much more that you can do to a PDF than you can in your notes, which for me is a bit weird. I mean, I feel like all those options should actually go into the creation of the notes instead of the PDF. And then you can export your PDF to a couple of applications, just like any other app. And then you can print your notes. You can... save as an image you can assign to a contact save the files and basically that's all more will just show you the same things that's it for the exporting tool i have no idea why they put so much on the exporting tool the one thing you guys are mostly interested in is the instant notes personally i don't see how useful an instant note is going to be yeah everyone's making a big deal about it but I don't think it's going to work for me because I tend to take my notes seriously and I don't really ever use rough notes in that way that I would just need to scribble something on my screen. But I'm sure for a lot of people, you probably want to use that. So I'm going to show you guys how you use it. Press the home button and tap on the iPad screen with your Apple Pencil. Make sure you're not using your finger, the finger that you use your touch ID with because then it will just open the iPad. So then you can start writing. The notes application, I still think it's a useless application for me. I'm not going to be using it. And most of the so-called improvements are basic things that they should have had the very first iPad Pro they produced. So this is for me. Not really such a big improvement. It's good that they have these options now and it's great for those guys, those of you guys who don't want to waste money on getting an application for writing your notes, but I wouldn't really make a big deal out of it because there are better note-taking applications. Let me know what you think about the changes in the iOS notes. Are you going to be using this application? That's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section down below. Like, share, subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. I release videos every Saturday. Occasionally, if there's a pressing question that I need to answer, if you guys ask me any questions, I will be answering those questions on Tuesdays. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.